What's up guys, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an FTP server on a Linux system that is encrypted using TLS. And so the first thing that we're going to need to do in order to get that started is we need to install VSFTPD. And that stands for Very Secure File Transfer Protocol Daemon. And we can just go ahead and do that by typing sudo app-get install VSFTPD. And I already have it installed, so now we need to uh, check the status of VSFTPD, and we can do that by typing systemctl status vsftpd.service, and we can see that it's running. And now we need to configure the firewall for VSFTPD, and we're going to go ahead and do that using UFW because it's a lot easier than IP tables, and we can do that by activating the UFW service and we can do that by saying sudo systemctl start ufw.service and now we can check and make sure it's active awesome so now what we need to do is we just need to open up the ports 20 to 21 for FTP 40 to 50,000 for passive FTP, and 990 for TLS. And we'll go ahead and do that using these commands that I have written down right here. So we're going to type sudo ufw allow 20 slash tcp, sudo ufw allow 21 slash tcp, and then 40 to 50,000. and then 990 and the 990 is for the TLS encryption okay cool and now we need to allow open SSH to get access to the server so sudo ufw allow open SSH and it looks like I don't have SSH installed so let me go ahead and install that and I'll be right back okay cool and so now that I have it installed, I was able to allow OpenSSH, and the rules have been updated. And so now we need to restart UFW. So we're going to type systemctl, or sudo, systemctl restart ufw.service. And then we're going to enable it, so sudo ufw enable awesome and now we can check the status and make sure it's working by typing systemctl status ufw.service okay great now we need to create a user and a directory for the ftp files and change the ownership of that directory to be the most secure and we're going to do that by creating the FTP user first. So we're going to type sudo add user FTP user. Go ahead and give them a secure password. Okay, cool. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and make the FTP user directory. So we're going to do that by typing sudo. And we need to use sudo even though we are making it for that FTP user, we need to use sudo for the ownership properties. So sudo mkdir slash home slash FTP user FTP. And then we need to change the ownership of that so that nobody has ownership. And we'll do that by typing sudo chown nobody no group slash home slash FTP user FTP. And now we need to make it to where there's no write permission for that folder. And we'll do that by typing sudo chmod a-w slash home slash ftp user slash ftp. And now we need to make a directory for the files in that ftp directory. And we'll do that by typing sudo make directory slash home slash FTP user FTP files awesome now we just need to set ownership of the files folder so we'll do that by typing sudo chown FTP user 
colon FTP user slash home slash FTP user FTP files. Great. Now we have that all set up. We just need to configure the VSFTP server. So let's clear the screen. And we'll do that by editing the configuration file that is found in slash etsy slash vsftpd.conf. And so what we want to do is we want to make a copy of that. So in case our changes don't work, we can resort to the original. So we'll type sudo mv slash etsy vsftpd.conf to slash etsy vsftp.conf.original. And then we're going to make a new one that is not the original. So we'll type sudo vim slash etsy slash vsftpd.conf. And now we're going to go ahead and put all of this stuff with this in here. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and I'll come back to you guys when it's done. All right, so I go up, went ahead and put those changes in and I saved the ftp.comp file. And now we're going to close out of this and we're going to restart the vsftpd.service so that way it uses this configuration file. And I'll go ahead and put all of this in the description so you guys can just copy and paste it. All right, cool. And now we just need to test our FTP connection and we can go ahead and do that using FileZilla. So we're gonna type sudo app-get install FileZilla. Cool, so now that we have that installed, I wanna go ahead and set up the TLS encryption for FTP before we actually start testing the connection. And so what we need to do is we need to create an SSL certificate and First, we need to install OpenSSL. So type sudo app-git install OpenSSL. And as you can see, I already have it installed. So we're going to type sudo OpenSSL rec-x509 dash nodes dash days 3650 dash new key and we want it to be RSA 2048 dash key out and where we're going to have the key out and that's going to be in slash Etsy slash SSL slash private slash vsftpd.pem dash out again to slash Etsy slash SSL slash private slash vsftpd.pem and go ahead and fill this out things it has by default if you just press enter it'll put in the default um, but this part it's not really that important so I'll come back to you guys whenever I get this done alright cool so now that we have that set up I just need to configure the vsftpd.comp file to use these TLS settings so we're going to type sudo vim slash etsy slash vsftpd.conf and we're going to go ahead and add these in now come back to you guys whenever we're done with that all right cool and now that we have those settings put in most of them are really self-explanatory the ones that are kind of important is ssl underscore tlsv1 which means that we're only using that version of, F of ssl and we aren't going to use these other versions and the ssl ciphers is set to high and now that we have those put in, we just need to type, we need to restart the VSFTP daemon. So we're going to type sudo systemctl restart vsftpd.service. Awesome. And now all we need to do is start the GUI and run FileZilla and make sure everything connects properly. All right, cool. So now that we have the uh, graphical user interface started so we can use FileZilla to see if we set up our server right, we first need to get the IP address of our server. And you can get that using IPR or using ifconfig. And you would use these to get the IP address of the server so you could access it remotely. However, since I'm on the server, I'm just going to use localhost and I'm not going to display my IP address. 
So we're going to go ahead and start FileZilla. So Firefox, or FileZilla, and... And now we're just going to type in our local host address. So 127.0.0.1, the username of the user that we created, FTP user, and the password that we set up. And we'll get this pop up saying unknown certificate. And if that displays, that means we set up the uh, SSL certificate correctly. You can select to always trust the certificate in future sessions. Click OK. And great. Now that we see directory listing of slash successful, that means that we have successfully connected to the uh, FTP user FTP files directory, as we can see right here. And we can just drag and drop and upload files to the FTP server, and it's really that easy. Alright, well thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video.